Three and nine is the Cowboys' playoff record in the last 20 plus years, and you'd be hard pressed to find any Super Bowl champions during that time with a similar record. Now, in a recent video, I was telling you the reasons why the NFL needed people like Dak Prescott to be stars, but of course, the Cowboys need that too. And I asked you guys what I should talk about in a poll. You responded, you said Dallas Cowboys, and even though they had a recent win against the crippled, crippled Washington Redskins, uh, they barely won that game. And they got a little help from some bad refing that was pretty apparent throughout the whole football game. And this is the best, or the best call maybe if you're a Cowboys fan, but a really bad call that they missed that was a helmet to helmet. Here it is. Pass over the middle and a big hit. Jordan Reed. Woods was in there as well. Watch this hit by Woods. That was there. And you see the frustration by Reed. Here's that hit right to the helmet. Mike. Geez, so many injuries in the NFL. I think it was seven per game or a bit more in 2017. But the last mobile, scrambling, rushing QB, whatever you want to call it, in the last 28 years to win the Super Bowl was Russell Wilson. And I don't believe the next one is going to be Dak Prescott. Okay? So let's take a look at his numbers of his passing game. So while we're counting out pretty much that you're going to win with a rushing quarterback like Russell Wilson, let's look at his passing numbers. Touchdown passes, tied for 19th, tied with Baker Mayfield, who he has much more completions than. Yards per game, 30th ranked. Completion percentage, 28th. Total yards, 21st. And it goes on like this, people. This year in 2018, 2019, they've had their division pretty much handed to them. The Eagles are no longer flying. Um, Alex Smith's leg has been crushed just much just like my dreams have or like gold dust. And as my friend Joel says, Eli Manning does not have his powers without Peyton Manning being in the league. And if the Cowboys don't win this division with Cooper, with Elliott, with Prescott, I say implode the team. Get rid of it. Because it's not going to get any easier than this year. It's not going to get any easier with the, with the Eagles struggling. It's not going to get easier with the Redskins having a great defense and having no quarterback. And then who knows what's going to happen with Giants any given year. Then there's Jerry Jones being way too nice throughout my life. He's been way too nice for what I think an NFL owner should be. Employed Terrell Owens through his turmoil. Stood by um, Ezekiel Elliott through his suspension. He's keeping Jason Garrett. He's standing and linking arms with his uh, his soldiers on the field, his, his players. Uh, he's got Dak Prescott who refuses to kneel. So there's a lot of good reasons to like the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I'll give him a pass on Des Bryant because we don't know what happened there. And given all the examples I gave of how uh, kind and forgiving he is, there must have been something wrong there that we don't know about. But even Jerry Jones' grandson is a good person. I formed the best brotherhood I've ever been a part of anything. I mean, I got made uh, friends with guys I had never met before. And, um, we're all close, close as all get out. And uh, I wouldn't trade this thing for the world. And I'm so proud to say I'm a part of this. But they will never, and I mean never, win the Super Bowl with the team playing like this and by being so nice, okay? And if you look at their history in the playoffs, they haven't done anything since they won the Super Bowl in the playoffs at all. So look at, look at the record here. And Jerry Jones has given previous coaches way less leeway. Chan Gailey, two years. Dave Campo, three years. Bill Parcells, four years. Wade Phillips, three and a half years. Now fast forward to Jason Garrett, almost nine years in and just one playoff win. Three and nine in the last 20 years. Now maybe he has a secret he's holding for Jason Garrett or something, or maybe he is a cybernetic organism who's meant to be the perfect coach so he knows that it's not his fault, but there's got to be something about Garrett. You need a pocket-passing QB to win. A little bit of scrambling is fine. I mean, Aaron Rodgers is a perfect example. John Elway. But you need a guy who can stay in the pocket, even if your offense is shitty, you can still win a Super Bowl. Look at the Ravens with Trent Dilfer. Look at the Buccaneers with Brad Johnson. It is still possible, but Michael Vick couldn't win. Donovan McNabb couldn't win. RG3, uh, his leg exploded as well. Vince Young, Steve McNair, rest in peace. Cam Newton, big fat zero Super Bowls for all of them. So Dak, I like you, but you got to work on your passing game more. And Jerry Jones, you got to be a lot less nice because the way you're doing it, this ain't it. This ain't it, Chief!